So this project is incorporating the Stylus Stoby program that's run through SA Power Networks and through local councils. The idea is to do street art on Stoby poles to brighten up your local neighbourhood. What I wanted to do was to actually then take it a step further and incorporate native plants of our local area and learn more about the Ghana connections, both first of all their names and also how these plants have been used across many, many generations for food, medicine purposes, tool making and other parts of day-to-day -day Ghana cultural life. I reached out to all different groups and schools in our local area of all ages and I was really thrilled with the positive feedback I got from five of our local schools ranging from kindergartens through to high schools as well as three groups, two girl guide groups and a local scout group as well. So it's definitely been very much supported by the younger people and those that are working with younger people in our area and I think it's going to get conversations starting about reconciliation, about nature, about language. And then the community grant funding has been a wonderful support to enable all of these groups that are participating to have no out-of-pocket costs. So the panels have been provided through the council, but the grant provided the paints, the paintbrushes, and other materials as well to both prepare and protect the panels after they've been completed. There's been wonderful support across a variety of departments, including the history officer, the men's shed, the depot. So I've been really grateful for the support. Here at Marriottville, uh, all three Year 5 classes participated in putting together drafts in a design phase for the different uh, species of plants. This meant that every student, every Year 5 student, had an opportunity to share their ideas and their creativity. And from that, we chose one example for each of the plant species to go to the final stage of painting. So Natanya approached me in regards to um, seeking out Ghana names for the native flowers in Adelaide. And because I sit on the KWK, which is the Ghana Warra Kapanthi Committee, which is made up of 10 Ghana Aboriginal people, we then look at applicants who want to have some translations. So a lot of the things that we use today in everyday life hasn't got Ghana names. So it's really looking and sourcing of old names and putting new names to it. Natanya's opened up a whole page of wonderful learning and I really enjoyed talking with her about the project because it brought back memories of me growing up and learning lots of my culture and um, sharing that with her but also about the passion for seeking further knowledge and understanding and, and sharing that widely. KWK have kindly been involved with giving permissions for both the names of the plants as well as the wording of We're on Ghana Country and Ghana Language as well. So it's been really important important to me to um, at all times put their voices in to this project um, and to ensure that they consider it's, it's a respectful reflection of, of, of their culture and what's important to them in, in the path to reconciliation as well.